Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to do another watch along slash reaction to the live action Netflix Cowboy Bebop episode eight. So if you haven't seen one through seven, make sure you check it out. There should be some links in the description for some of the previous episodes. If you haven't, if you want to keep up with all the new episodes that drop, make sure you hit that subscription button and click the bell icon. That way you can get up to date notifications anytime these new episodes drop. Of course, give us a thumbs up. That's how YouTube knows that you dig and what you're giving. But before we get started, you may notice something a little bit different regarding some of these watch alongs, and that is the content is going to be really quick. We're going to do eight second clips. You may see uh, the video inverted and it may be a little translucent this is so that we <clears throat> this is so that we do not violate copyright restrictions uh, if you want to see the full thing uh unaltered make sure you uh sign into netflix and uh, check it out hey man we're trying to do this the right way so let's go ahead and get this bad boy started with episode eight of live action cowboy bebop let's go curious medical it's one way to start episode Started off with violence. Hey, is that Iron? It is. They say he's the best hitman in the solar system. It's a violent, homicidal, loose cannon. Well, that <laughs> sounds like my kind of guy. <laughs> Come on, open them up with those Apple II E's. <laughs> Vicious, what have you unlocked? What's your name, soldier? Le Fou. Ooh, this is gonna be a good episode. Yo, Le Fou. <laughs> yeah, even the dogs know what's up. He hates dogs. Hey. Well, no wonder he's upset. Dogs. Hmm. Wow. Well, better to go out like that than to let Matt Piero get his hands on you. Thank you. <laughs> this, this better be a good episode. Yo, cause the Mad Frenchman, Pierre, yo, that episode is still fire, fire. I'm talking about the animated version, of course. Good, I've been waiting for something to pick up the pace. Come on, come on. Oh. Well, it's good to see bowling is still alive in the future. Oh. When do I get to go? When it's your turn. But you already hit the things. Please return. This part is weird. Uh, Jet claims it is. And bowling is awesome. Why are we here? Because it's family time. Like bowl. <laughs> this is dysfunctional family. He has a terrible style. Clip it. <laughs> Clip it. Oh, damn. He really showed up with his bowling shirt, too. <laughs> I'm gonna get us some beers. Wait, it's bad luck to bowl when. Hello? With the bowling it's not bad luck, it's just disrespectful. Be free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh! This game sucks balls. What is happening? Well, after recent events, we wanted to do something special. That's actually pretty sweet. Sweetest dickheads a girl could ever want. <laughs> <laughs> don't say it. Seriously. Of course not. No, we'd never. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. It's my birthday. We need more iron. That makes me a Virgo. I don't know if that works for me. All right. So I got the hover boots. What the actual fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. You're all alone, Spike. I believe you. 
Whoa! Come on, don't show the shadow. We want to see it for real. Why would you do that to us? Iron saves the day. Sad clown of the firepower that got hurry up. Yeah. The creeper, he looked me in my eye and he was like, die, die, die. Monkey punchy Jamaican rum. Distilled on old earth. Monkey punch Jamaican rum. I mean, you're not even gonna wipe the blood off your face. It's on your mouth. Oh, yuck. Oh, they put those memories into the dogs. Huh. Earthland. Oh, that's not a happy place. Who is he? That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of red eye. E one N, so it's not iron, huh? That's interesting. You can look into this guy all you want, but I'm telling you, you gotta come up empty. <coughs> uh... Whoa. <laughs> I will destroy your ship. I will rip your heart out. <laughs> you have to <laughs> or the killing begins. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that'd probably be the last day the dog would be in the ship. The dog. I'll set a course for Earthland. Hey, what do you and... think about the dog? I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> right? Somebody gotta say something about the dog. Cute. But She's right. From his <laughs> eyes. It's probably not the least to I'm so happy that somebody addressed that. Yeah, you you, you kind of gotta leave him. The dog's a little weird, man. Well, this version of Iron is weird. Man, Julie looking great. Go ahead, girl. I'll see you. We agreed it would only be you and me. <laughs> you heard him. Send him away. <laughs> Phase one. <laughs> Is that where the syndicate hangs out? It's like an old asteroid. Did he? Looks cool. Or did he not? <laughs> <laughs> you almost don't even want to trust that smile. Huh. Well, that happened. Action going. Wow. Like one syndicate member left. Not bad. Hmm. Some much needed action. Dang. Dad dropped a couple of bars and then died. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Batman. Guess he's the king of the syndicate now. Oh, there's still some stragglers. Oh, her. Failing. Deliver your head. She's on her way out. Might as well snitch, huh? 
terrible. <laughs> Yuck. Ugh. All right, now he looks the part. He said, Oh, <laughs> one left. Okay. I messed up. I'm sorry. All right, so this was supposed to be the episode where we were supposed to see a whole lot of action. Um, the, the Frenchman, Pierre, or whatever his name is, pops up, and it's supposed to be like a really dope showdown. You know, this is when Spike gets his ass handed to him, um, he gets all wrapped up, bounces back, defeats him. You know, it's supposed to be like that. I don't think it hit the nail on the head. <laughs> the way the, the other one did um it was interesting the he didn't get into his full you know top hat and you know crazy look until a little bit later and the ending was a was a little off but it, it's still once again you know we're, we're still running in a space of running in a space of nostalgia so it that that part got that part was okay um we do have some new things uh, Ian, his name is not really Ian, it's E1N, which is like a serial number for a special scientific dog. We know that he's like the, one of the smartest dogs in the galaxy or, or whatever. But we didn't have the connection um, to to the Frenchman like like we did. And of course, you got laser beam projectors shooting out of his eyes. That's That, that was definitely different. Um, and then the, the other big one is dealing with Vicious and him... Uh, becoming the head of the the crime syndicate it played out it played out okay you know you know what it is i think what's going on with this series is that i think uh me and maybe some other people were expecting like cinematic quality type action sequences and scenes and stuff like that and we're getting more like you know tv I mean, this is netflix it's not gonna like be breaking the budget regarding that but you know you can't help but having some of your expectations kind of meet on that level it still gets things done but it's just not as grandiose as uh as many of us would like to be all right, let's go through like a quick thing. So we get introduced to him, and you see him as just like a regular man, which is okay. Which is, we, I think, I know me personally, I would have rather just gotten like him straight to the top hat, him being crazy. And starting off with that, and then of course, he was in the middle of doing a hit, and then Spike bumps into him in the cartoon, and then that's how they, they kind of meet, but they tie in with Vicious instead, finding him, finding like the best assassin in order to take care of Spike. Uh, we see the connection with him and the dog. Uh, the cool thing, um, the uh, the bowling scene was was fun. Cause you get a chance to see him bond a little bit more and build that family element, and not them just being like three separate bounty hunters. So that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and the introduction, you know, he pops up like a phantom in the night. I am happy that they maintained the the alley, back alley, and the dark scene, and all of that. That that was pretty cool. But. It just didn't hit the mark, you know. It was just okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, the other part is actually watching uh, watching Spike get bandaged up because he just had like just his arm, which was okay. It would have been funnier if they like really bandaged him up, like all the way up to like his head. That would have been that would have been pretty cool. Uh, we we see the 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 old lady swag <laughs> coming back and she's warning him about. She's like, yo, you got to check your boy. But instead, we we get just the arm. That's okay. It still would have been funny if he was like wrapped up, like even his head and his mouth, and he was like mumbling. Missed opportunity. 
I like the transition from from Earthland that was all nice and pretty to the Earthland that's absolutely destroyed and weird and scary. That's cool. Once again, like when they when you're dealing with like the CG stuff, they really nail it with that. Yo, and, and then they just leave him. I wasn't expecting that. I figured I was gonna be there for the full ride. He might not make it back. There's only like two episodes left. He's like, oh. Who knows? Maybe Radical Ed finds him. Them playing, doing the whole rhyming for the uh, for the battle sequence was kind of like. We haven't really had a chance to see him like play with the bonsai trees, but at least we get a chance to see him in this scene as well. Yo, them cutting Vicious' head off, that was a good moment to kind of pause and be like, oh, well, we know they're taking changes, but they're really gonna go this way? I I didn't know, you know, you never know. You never know with these things. Uh, but them faking it and Vicious showing that he's really the other guy, that was a nice touch. Now, the fight scene is just okay. It's, it's cool. It's about the quality that you would kind of expect based on, you know, budget restrictions. It was good enough. It's funny how high the quality of what we expect fight scenes to be now, because had you played this fight scene, even just, you know, like five, 10 years ago, it would have been absolutely top notch. But now we see it, it's like, ah, it's okay. It's all right, it wasn't bad. It's just good enough. And then we find out that the head of the syndicates actually is Pops. He has his little um, scary moment. I was just, I was more happy to to see the nostalgia of him being in the full getup than than anything else. And the way it ends was kind of was kind of okay. I just, I, it, I don't know. I, I I just, I just want more. That's the thing. This whole series has just been like, I just want more. And then it closes out with him getting stabbed in the leg, and he he cries kind of like how he did in the cartoon. Wasn't exactly the same, but still, still good enough. And that's that for that. I kind of feel that way about the series, you know, I kind of get stabbed in the leg and I'm like, oh man, I want more. Yeah, that's me. That's me watching Cowboy Bebop right now. I just want more. I want more. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not a, it's just not a hundred percent enough. All right. The good thing is, is that we still have two more episodes for them to completely turn this whole bad boy thing around and make it not just, you know, okay, but make it spectacular. So if you want to make sure that you watch that with us, make sure you click the subscription button, click the bell icon so you get up-to-date notifications so you know when episode nine and episode 10 drops and we can watch it together. Make sure you leave a comment, man. Let me know how you feel. Are you feeling it? Is it just okay? Could it use some work? I think it could use some work. Well, it's your boy Sintel with Intel. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will catch you on episode nine. Peace out.